Hello, my name is Elijah Blue Reeves, and my pronouns are they, them, and I am a current MA student at the Center for Jewish Studies at the GTU. Um, today I wanted to talk a little bit about some of my personal reflections in regards to the current pandemic situation that we're in. Um, we happen to be in this period of counting the Omer, which is this 49 day period between Passover and Shavuot. And it's this opportunity to uh, reflect on our spiritual lives as we um, look forward to Shavuot, which is about uh, Torah being revealed to us on Mount Sinai. So we kind of like use this as an opportunity to like get excited about that. Um, and also reflect on our spiritual lives. Um, there's this Kabbalistic um, meditational tool during the counting of the Omer where each of the days and each of the weeks of, um, you know, these seven weeks are, we apply one of the seven lower Sefi wrote on the tree of life to each of these days and each of these weeks. And um, the Sefi wrote are aspects of divine love and because they're aspects of divine love they are also reflected in us um, in creation and so it provides us this opportunity to uh, really deeply um, explore these aspects of God and of ourselves um, and like the different ways that they interact with each other and the different ways that um, they connect to each other. So I wanted to use the Sefi wrote as a framework for talking about um, things that I've been thinking about in regards to the pandemic. So first we have Chesed. Um, chesed is about loving kindness and compassion. And I think that that is more important than ever right now. Um, I think that we are all going through this collective trauma and we are all going through different levels of fear and anxiety and just a little bit of kindness can go a really long way during this time. Um, and just sort of like giving people the benefit of the doubt, recognizing that everyone is scared and everyone could use a little kindness. Next we have Gavura. Gavura is um, translated as discipline. Uh, it's also translated as boundaries or structure. And, you know, with the shelter in place, a lot of us are feeling a really big lack of structure. Um, and Gavura happens this year to fall on Shabbat. And so I think that what we can take away from this is that we can really look at Shabbat as being a way to structure our weeks um, and to separate one week from the next and um, you know to look forward to Shabbat and use Shabbat as just like an opportunity to change our mindset for the day and to relax um, you know to try not to stress out too much and you know show ourselves some kindness and compassion um, one thing that I like to do with Shabbat is I like to turn my phone off. Um, you know, I think that we are spending so much time on our computers and our phones right now, being at home so much, that it's nice to just kind of take a little break from that. Um, next we have Tiferet. Um, Tiferet is about balance, and it is also a combination of Chesed and Gevorah. Um, so I think that what we can learn from Tiferet right now is how boundaries are an act of compassion. Um, you know, a lot of us, I think, really want to hug our family, and our friends, um, but we also are recognizing that um, keeping our distance, um, wearing masks when we're around each other, you know, keeping six feet away that is an act of loving kindness and that's an act of um, protecting human life, um, which is the ultimate mitzvah. Next we have Netzach, 
which is about endurance um, and eternity. Um, it's about perseverance. Um, but what I want to talk about with Netzach is how we can allow some of the practices that we've adopted during this time to endure past um, past this pandemic. Um, and how, you know, adopting some of these practices is a real opportunity for disability justice. Um, you know, there have been plenty of people who have already been homebound and already living in isolation due to illness and disability. And suddenly now that everybody is homebound and in isolation, we're finding that, um, a lot more people can work from home than, you know, we initially believed. And, you know, we're able to make a lot more com accommodations for people um, that disabled people have been asking for for years. And so I think that hopefully we can take this as an opportunity to really uh, stand for our... Um, disabled friends, family, and community. Next, we have Hode, which is about beauty and splendor. Um, for me, one of the things that's been really keeping me sane is um, just going out on walks and really appreciating nature, appreciating the trees and the flowers that are in bloom. Luckily, we're in springtime right now, and there's, you know, a lot of beauty in nature to behold. And I think that just sort of like finding some solace in that has been really healing for me anyway. Um, and I hope that, you know, it could be for you too. Um, next, we have Yesid, which is about foundation. Um, and it also has this association with community, um, which I think is really a deeply Jewish value is, you know, the idea of community as foundation. Um, and I think that we're finding that, you know, even though we can't be physically in community with each other, a lot of the time, there are a lot of things that we can do for each other, um, you know, by reaching out and just, you know, recognizing that we are all in this together. Um, lastly, we have Malchut, um, which is usually translated as like kingdom or kingship, um, but it's also associated with Shekhinah, which is the divine uh, feminine presence of God. And so there's kind of this like you know, interesting gender aspect to it, um, where it's both about kingship and queenship. Um, and I like to think of it as being about leadership. Um, you know, ultimately, um, Hashem is the one true Melech, the one true leader. Um, and human beings can't take that place. But also at the same time, we are all reflections of the divine. We are all reflections of God, and we are all able to be leaders for each other within our communities. And I think that what it means right now is by, you know, we all have the ability to take initiative to do things for each other that are within our skill sets and within our talents and um, to be there for our communities in that way and to recognize that we are all um, able to take initiative and be leaders for each other. Um, thank you so much for listening. Um, stay strong and Baruch Hashem. <laughs>